Breaking news. Benway governor attack. 6,000 headsmen were smuggled into the country. Benway leaders revealed. Hello, my wonderful people. A few days ago, we saw the governor of Benway state, who Samuel Otom, who was, uh, who God protected from assassination. Yes, assassination. Some of you might wonder. The governor was out in his farmland uh, as, as a farmer to look after his crops and what have you. Before you could say Jack Robinson, about 15 headsmen were out attacking this governor. Thank God that he had security operative with him. And those were some of the points he pointed out. He said, if I, a governor that have security operative around me, had this issue, you. what about the common man on the street you know and this is a very serious matter uh, muhammad buhari has been encouraged to make sure that they get to the bottom of this but really truly speaking between you and i not much have been done in that regard now benway leaders are revealing that six thousand. Did you hear the number? 6,000 headsmen has been smuggled into Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. About three weeks ago, after the convoy of the Benway State Governor, Samuel Otom, was ambushed and attacked by gunmen suspected to be headsmen, the President General of U Utes, MUT and Chairman Association of Benway Culture Organization, Abikos, Chief Ibold Iborus has made a shocking revelation how suspected headsmen, numbering 6,000, were smuggled into the country. Can you imagine that? 6,000. The elder statesman also spoke about the recent attempt on the life of the governor and how it relates to the overall well-being of the thief people in Benway State. The chief went ahead to openly accuse the Fulani headsmen of being behind the attack on the governor. He called on how the leader of Maetiala openly declared their hate for the governor during the grazing saga in the state. The thief leader also wondered why the police is yet to arrest a single person, any headsman, especially the leader of the Maetiala group, who openly make inciting statements about other Nigerians. He also collaborated with the former CB Central Bank Deputy Governor Obidaya Balafa statement in the recent interview that there is fulanization agenda in the country where the Fulani headsmen are planning to take over some regions. He also went on to reveal that Fulani headsmen were brought into the country before the 2019 election to cause mayhem and havoc. He stated that 2,000 were brought in before the election, while 4,000 were brought in after the election and all camped in Kaduna State. That's why you can see the current rage and sprout of insecurity ravaging Kaduna. They have to feed. They have to be looked after. The government has stopped giving them money. More revelation also showed that those ones are the set of people currently terrorizing the country and does not know why the president is keeping quiet after such a degree of mayhem that has been perpetrated by the governor himself and the, by the president himself. He recalled that during the Agatal War, Nigeria has brought thought the killing would stop in Benway, but it suddenly has continued and has turned full-blown genocide around the country, with even the northern region feeling the heat as at now. The chief also further blamed the federal government because it controls the security agencies and currently doing nothing about what is on ground in the country. He also wondered why the headsmen are always seen with sophisticated weapon, but the federal government turned a blind eye. He mentioned that his word, Mo Kawoda, local government area, where all villagers have disappeared following the constant attack by these headsmen. And it's very true, my people. You will see, you see some of the uh, pictures and videos we showed to you. There was a particular video, even here right now, you can see it, where headsmen went to Aso Rock heavily armed i mean with sophisticated weapons in their arms and guess what not a single person not even the president that they came to see 
said a single word with regards to that matter. Nobody said a word. Everybody was quiet. They sat down. They had the meeting and they left. And what the man is saying, there is no lie in it. You know, these same headsmen were the ones who confessed that they were brought into the country. Remember the kidnapping that happened in, uh, in, 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 in Niger State? Yes. And teachers and students were kidnapped alongside. Remember what the, what the headsmen told the, the kidnappers told the teachers? They said, we want to see the president of the country. He's the one who brought us here, promised us a lot and abandoned us in the bush, in the forest after the election. And they asked a question. They said, do cattle give birth to guns? We have those guns because we were given. How much do we earn as cattle rearers to be able to get this amount of sophisticated weapon? That should juggle your memory. So true, so profound. And come to think of it, the government's silence in the face of the genocide going on in Nigeria is enough confirmation to tell you that there is a secret agenda ongoing. And these people, you know, when Obidaya initially a few months ago, late last year, revealed that he was a reliably informed by traders that the leader of the B-Boys, of the Boko Raman and all that, is a northern governor. Guess what? DSS was inviting him left, right and center. How dare you say that? Who told you? Who are the market people? They keep inviting him again and again and again and again. Today, who is telling the truth? Who is lying? Even the presidency cannot defend the words that have been said by these headsmen against them. That the, that they are being aided and supported by the federal government. Guess what they are asking for now? They've gone ahead and they are asking the federal government of Nigeria to give them, to give them amnesty, to pay them regularly, or they will continue and even burn down Nigeria. And listen, do you know Nigerian government do not follow the threat? But let Sonde Ogboho speaks up. Let Unandi Kanu say something. Let any other person make a statement in the country. You will hear the pres presidency responding. What does that tell you? There is more. And these people came in and guess where they stayed? In Kaduna. Mm -hmm. You see what happened recently? The RCCG members who were kidnapped in Kaduna. Students who were kidnapped in Kaduna. It's not just in Kaduna other parts of the country but this is currently what is on ground our government has sold out the nation to this set of people and little we wonder why why there is increasingly rise in insecurity my people it is because the people at the top who should be in the end of affair and give direction are the ones selling out the very nation leave us a comment please don't forget to like or share subscribe god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now